this is a subsection of a landing page describing the features of a product and this is the prototype i did on figma let's see how we can make it you guys know we're gonna create this subsection of a landing page with the which contains the features rotating around this illustration so let's come here and let's do this so first you want to paste your text whatever it is just paste it there center align it and put it there and we obviously have our illustration right over here now for the text part i have this text laid out here for me how many texts do you have you can just write it over here the only thing is that i put eight spaces between each of them so i clicked space eight times you can do how many times you want that's how many i did for that amount of spacing to be created now what you want to do here is that you want to click on this and i used to use arc for stuff like this to bend the text but now it's not free anymore and i don't use this effect as much so i i have not bought, bought it so this is the free one type 2 Loki, I kind of feel that Type 2 has less bugs, so that's good as well. So I'm just gonna adjust his spacing to be the same as my the spacing that I have over here. So let's just check that a little bit more. I think this is good. Now you you just want to click on apply and the point is when you create this it's going to appear out of nowhere in some place in the frame that you're not viewing right now. So the solution on that is just click on the group right over here, press command X to remove it from there and then select your frame and press command V to paste it right here. So now we have our text over here, it looks really good, it looks decent. Now what I want to do is, I used to again use the skew that tool, but again, it's not free anymore, so I use isometric. It gives you the same effect, it's just not... as adjustable, it just gives you whatever it wants and you have to like play with it. So this is what we're working with right now. I think it looks decent, maybe just a tad smaller. This looks nice, this looks good. I'm happy with how it turned out. Now what you want to do is you want to take this and create, well, come and see, paste it over here for yourself and then create a frame from right over there and call it the rotation frame. Take your text, paste it in the rotation frame and now you can just come over here and delete the field so you can see the text and then what you want to do here is that you want to click here on create component and just create a component out of this and then you want to click on this one more time to add a variant and you're that's that's what you want to do you're going to add three variants and that's it and now in order to create your animation as you can see we have our text right over here you want to click prototype and then choose after delay for one millisecond you want to do smart animation is out 100 millisecond this really depends on how fast you want the rotation to happen so you can play out with it like we can make it 2000 to just make it more slow and then same for this one, you're going to choose this frame, you want to attach it to the next frame and after delay, smart animation is out and let's just change this to 2000 to make it slower. And then you want to attach the final one to the first one and you want to do after delay one millisecond, but instead of a smart animation, you want to do instant animation. And that's pretty much it. You can just take that out. Paste it here. Oh no, not all of it. Just one. Thank you. And paste it over here. Make it smaller so it fits better. And I do think it needs to rotate just a little bit like this. And let's see if it worked out. That's pretty much it. 
then I would like to, for example, do a small hover animation for this one right over here. So you can again, you have this group. Let's create a frame called illustration. And then let's just paste our P right there. Let's remove the frames uh, color. And then, okay, and then let's just put the group right in the middle of the frame. Okay, you see what happened here with this line? Because it didn't have constraints. We we'll always have constraints so they don't go around getting lost or something. So that's it. You want to create a component out of this one again. Add a variant. Click on the whole component command. Shift to make auto layout. 32 spacing. Even more. Just so you can do easier attaching when it's down to the prototyping. So for this one, I would like my little pinkity pinkity elephant to just move a little bit. And let's see how is that possible because I don't want this one to. I only let's let's create a group out of these. Okay. And then take them out. Paste them there. Let's take these out too. Take them out. Paste them there. Same for these. Okay. That is pretty much it for that part. Now I just want to make my little pink piggy to go up a little bit for like I don't know, just a little bit up. Yes, that's nice. And then again, I want it to go just a little bit low. Let me see. And then again, just a little bit up. Now let's just connect these with prototype, not on click, let's say while hovering. Yes, while the mouse is hovering, this would change. And instead of small instant, let's have smart animation. That's too. Yes, that's good. That looks good. Okay. Let's just repeat that, that over here while hovering and again this one while hovering and then let's just connect this to the first one again so we have a loop while hovering so I'm just gonna take out my little elephant out of here paste it right over here and yeah let's see if it turned out good oh I, I you know what happened over here it's that it could go as slow but all of the different sections are after while hovering so whenever you hover all of them happen at the same time so you want to change that to after delay <laughs> just to you know just to make sure that it doesn't go crazy like that so this is everything that prototyping is you know it's always trial and error and you have to like figure out how to like work it out so i would say let's have the first one while hovering and the rest the rest would be after delay so it just moves more okay yeah something like that it looks nice and cool i like that it's somehow fun i know that is the problem with these turn like changing like this if you like it you can keep it that way but if you don't that's because i created groups of them on the second variant but in the first one they're not as groups so that's why it happens 
and that's it for this video i hope it was helpful for you guys let me know if you could do it on figma and make sure you give a thumbs up to this video make sure you subscribe as well and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye